Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed. In this session, we'll be looking at how you can integrate ChatGPT 3 with UiPath. So here in this demo, this is a small demo where I have integrated uh, the request and response mechanism similar to that what you have seen in our previous video where we have integrated ChatGPT 3 with Automation 360 and Power Automate. So in this video, I'll not go in detail about what are the parameters and all that needed. We'll just see the activities that we can use and the small demo which we have built using UiPath. So let me uh, uh, open this main.xaml file where I have the sequence ready. So in this sequence, what I'm doing, this is my query, uh, which I'm taking from the user. And this is my chat, uh, OpenAI, ChatGPT3 APIs. And this is the section, this is the sequence where I'm capturing the response and displaying it back to the user. So let me expand this. In query, what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I have placed an input dialog box. Let me uh, double click this. So we have mentioning, please type your query to the user. Uh, input dialog box will be presented, which will hold the query of the user and we are Oh, uh, we are capturing that in the user input variable. Let me go back to the sequence. Then here I'm uh, assigning the my, uh, using multiple assign activity. Uh, and in this, we are building the JSON. If you remember, uh, we had the JSON parameter, right? Where we uh, used to capture mod model prompt, max token, and various other uh, uh, JSON key value pairs. But here we are just uh, using three of them. Uh, max token is 500. You can keep it 2000 or any any number any random number so this uh, this number if you increase if your if your response is text is uh, getting like it is increasing in a length you have to increase this number and this user input is the prompt so if you can see here the json uh, key which we are passing is prompt so this is user input the uh, the query of the user which we are capturing in the previous step and this is the model okay let me go back so after this we are con uh, we are calling the api open api so let me open that here uh, this is the endpoint completion url timeout into milliseconds uh, method will be post and uh, the uh, request and response which we are accepting it is a json in the json format content type json and there this is the authorization uh, header where we are passing our bearer token the api key and here also in authentication we are passing auth2 token and the same uh, same api key okay so this is a little bit different in ui path as compared to automation anywhere and power automate so let me close this this is configured and again i'll pass uh, i'll give all these values in the description section you can check it from there and then finally we have the response sequence where we have again multiple assign in multiple assign what we are doing we are capturing uh, the json we are capturing the response json object then we are passing it uh, we are we are parsing the json object to capture the response from choices dot text right choices uh, of the zeroth element of choices and the text uh, property so we need the response and we know the response is coming in the text uh, uh, key okay so finally our uh, our variable the uh, which will be holding the response is the response variable a variable with the name of response the response is a string type of variable that we are displaying back to the user so let me run this now so please type your query at this time let me ask uh, chat GPT to write a program in Python to swap two numbers and let's wait for the response so here here we got the response from chat GPT with an example so uh, using a temporary variable uh, we have provided a code in Python where we can swap the two numbers click OK that's it and let me run it again how to learn RPA UI path so I'm asking this query 
and let's see how chat gpt responds back so uh, it responded back with starting by visiting uipath website then familiarize yourself with uipath studio and blah 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 they have given five uh, step uh, uh, response so that's all guys about this uh, integration part so now we have uh, we have demonstrated the integration of chat gpt and the rpa tools uh, basically we have demonstrated using top 3 uh, rpa tools power automate automation anywhere and ui path so if you can integrate with these you can integrate with other rpa tools provided they have the mechanism or a facility where you can use the uh, request response mechanism via apis so you can easily integrate that so that's all for now please share this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching